This is the Galaxy MP5K 6mm airsoft gun or AEG. Uh, just thought I'd give you a closer look and a bit of, re of a review on it. Um, overall it's quite a cheap gun really. Uh, paid about £100 for it. I've had it a few years. It's, it's only had to have one battery. The gears are, have been okay in it. The gearbox has been fine. Um, just a new battery. Um, I think one of the cells went in it and it was just whenever you was pulling the trigger it was sort of just clunking as though well to be honest I thought it was the gearbox to start with but it was actually a cell in the battery that had gone. It's a great gun to have for CQB or for instance if you're a sniper and you you need it as backup in a game situation it's uh, it's very handy for that very pointable. Uh, great just to use as a primary weapon as well. It's got the range, uh, it's got the rate of fire, and it's good to use if you just want to go light. You know, if it, for instance it's a real hot day and you want to throw your your AEG to one side and just take this out with a pistol, it's good for that too. Build quality of the gun is well fairly good. I mean, it's all plastic or uh, polymer. Um, it's fairly light, it's, it's tough enough, I mean I've put it through its paces for a few years now and uh, it's been dropped a couple of times and bashed against trees and god knows what and yeah it's stood the test of time, the only problem I've had with it is a, is a battery um, the gearbox has been fine, I've had no gearbox failures, no trigger failures, no motor failures just, just a cell that went in the battery um, Batteries contained in the top. I'm holding it upside down. Hang on a sec. Batteries contained in this top section of the gun, where the actual it's where the actual barrel would be on the real deal. But that's actually the the battery housing. You get to the battery by uh, taking these two pins out. This comes off this back piece here, and then you just slide your battery in all the way along and uh, you can probably just see the battery there where the cocking handle would be this doesn't actually work it's just there for uh, effect really well saying that when you have taken the uh, the back panel off you can use this cocking pan this cocking mechanism just to pull back and it will actually push the battery out the back so I suppose it has got a little bit of a use uh, the barrel is obviously quite short, you can see where the magazine is, so we're only talking about sort of six inches of barrel length there, but it's fair, fairly accurate. Um, like I say, it's good enough for emergency use really, if you say if you're a sniper or something like that in a game situation, um, and you just want to basically point this thing and spray it at the enemy, it's... Uh, it's good enough for that. The magazines are just your standard MP5 uh, airsoft clockwork magazines. Uh, I know these are a classic army type. Uh, so, In fact I think this one is actually a classic army uh, in make. Um, metal construction, clockwork, just 200, 200 rounds. Uh, you open the little trap door like that and load up your mags and then just give it a wind until you see them appear there and then just keep winding then until you hear the, the click but just make sure these mags are fully wound and then you shouldn't have any problems with them but they've, they've been good and reliable uh, I haven't had one fail yet so can't really fault the mags I'll just give you some close-ups of the gun give you some more details on it and this is the mag release it's actually that one there and not this one this is pretty much for show really that's uh, the actual real deal mag release on the real gun but this on this uh, airsoft gun you just press that button there and the mag will drop out here's your selector ambidextrous selector, you've got it on both sides semi-auto full auto 
safety. You can pretty much choose what sort of sight picture you want. These sights are quite good really. Um, they're actually metal on this model so quite good but as you can see this one's taking a bit of a bashing. It's a bit worn here and there but it's stood the test of time so far. So the trigger is quite a good trigger. Um, crisp and uh, responsive. Um, the stock and the grip comfortable sorry there's, there's no stock on it the grip is is comfortable even when wearing gloves there's plenty of room when you're wearing gloves I always like to wear gloves when I'm uh, mm -hmm. when I'm airsoft in skirmishing it just uh, takes a sting if you shot takes a sting out of it if you shot in the hand um, Customization with this gun, you can't really do much with it as far as uh, bolting things on. There's no wrist rail or mounts or anything like that. So you can't really attach anything to it. To adjust the hop up, you have to take this pin out which just pushes out. And then just slide the floor end off. And then you can just see a hop up adjustment which is that it's basically pull it or push it and that adjusts your hop now also your battery connectors are contained in here for connecting your battery the only bad point I'd find with this gun is when you're putting the front uh, foregrip on is you've got to make sure these wires are tucked away so you don't damage them and then that just uh, if I can get it right just slides on and then you just push that pin back in and that's it all in all the MP5K airsoft gun by Galaxy is a pretty good gun for the money and reliable too and tough so it's a good buy really